because our history should never be our death sentence. Who we are should not warrant the reason why we get murdered. Between October 2019 and September 2020, more than 350 trans and gender diverse people were reported murdered worldwide. Behind every name stands a life fully lived. A person who fought and laughed, who supported others. A person who loved and was loved. Yennefer was a 35-year-old trans woman from Guatemala. Her friends called her Burbuja. She was kicked out of home when she was young. She was a sex worker and an active member of her community. We remember her. Manuela was 48 years old. She was a trans woman from Brazil who migrated to Italy. She was a dedicated cook. We remember her. Kiasha was a 22-year-old black trans woman from the United States. She was a hairstylist and loved in her community. She was a loyal friend and enjoyed parties. We remember her. Every day, trans people fight for our right to live. Behind every murder is a society that does not protect trans lives, that does not provide safety and dignity for trans people. The growing racism and xenophobia in many countries is an additional threat to trans migrants and people of color. The COVID-19 pandemic isolates us even more. This results in growing violence and persecution while limiting our access to support and community. Today, we remember and mourn those we lost. We honor their legacies every day. We fight for our futures. What can I say about Monica? Uh, Monica Roberts is a mentor, a big sister, someone I look up to. Thank you, Glad, for this unexpected but deeply appreciated honor. And thank you for getting me out of Texas's heat for at least 48 hours. <laughs> <laughs> on, on behalf of the community and myself, I humbly accept this award. When blogging began to go mainstream in 2004, I was writing a column for a local monthly LGBTQ newspaper in Louisville, Kentucky. Trans-oriented blogs addressing the issues germane to the trans community existed, but no, the common thread was that none of those early trans blogs were discussing issues of importance to trans people of color. Neither were those blogs discussing trans issues and the news of the day from our perspective. After prodding by my friends in Louisville and around the country, predominantly led by my homegirl Jordana Lassane, and my own observations that a person of color oriented blog was necessary for the growth and maturation of our black trans community ranks, at midnight Eastern Standard Time on January 1st, 2006, the first post went up at Transgrio. As a trans woman of color, the people who knew Monica Roberts say she was on the front lines fighting for her community. 
She was an activist, she was a pioneer, she was a blogger, she was a writer, she was an author, she was a motivational speaker. Kendra Walker is executive vice president of Pride Houston. She says the two met years ago doing advocacy work. And when you lose someone like that, the pain is immeasurable. How do you replace that? How do you replace your number one fighter? Equality Texas called her, quote, a fearless, unapologetic black trans woman who fought courageously for everyone's human rights. Jessica Tyree, another trans activist, told me over the phone that Monica's passing would be felt in many places, but especially Houston. She spent so much of her life here and just implementing change in any way that she could to make sure that Houston was a safe and inclusive space. And that's why her death is so tough for the people who knew her. They're grieving. They're really hurting. We lost our lion. We lost our pioneer. We lost our powerhouse. We lost our heartbeat. When I saw people posting on Monica's wall that she has passed away, rest in peace, I was shocked. I was numb. I couldn't believe it because it's someone I was talking to a few days before and someone whom I absolutely adore, someone we discuss everything from politics to trans pageantry to activism and our shared love for journalism. It makes me so sad because I miss her so much because everything at every pivotal time of my life, I've shared it with Monica. When I went to Thailand to compete in Miss International Queen 10 years ago, she was there. She wrote an article about me. You know, in those days when you don't see a lot written about us as trans people, we weren't considered good enough to be written about. And when they're writing about us, or perhaps we have been murdered, or have violence or attacks, we, the victims, are classed as the villains. We have Black trans folks who are doing amazing things. Far too often, I saw Black trans victims being misgendered, using the words man and women's clothing, the chosen name of the trans person in quotation marks. I was fed up with it and I wanted to role model what good coverage looked like. I felt like uh, the history of trans folks, especially black trans folks, wasn't really told. Griots and West African culture are oral historians who are able to tell up to five centuries of their people's history from memory. One of the missions of Trans Griot is to document our history, good, bad, and indifferent. And it has to be preserved for future generations to know about. Started Trans Griot, where she writes stories, how it should be written, especially for our black trans sisters who are constantly being attacked and murdered. And then after that, being abused by the media, through misgendering and name, dead name calling, Monica took it upon herself to say the names of our trans sisters. She took it upon herself that we must be seen and heard and let people know that we exist. That was why she started Trans Gria. We planned that she was going to come to London and spend some time in London because she's never been here before. And she was a judge on Miss Trans Global. And she was, you know, very, 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 very active in the judging process. In fact, she was active right from the beginning during the planning process. She even wrote an article about her experience judging Miss Trans Global. Only in, to see that she was, she's a few months later, she won't be here anymore. That really destroyed me when I saw it and I was like, how could this happen? How, how? When I first joined Miss Trans Global, one of the first things that I did was I had a look at who would be on the judging panel. I wanted to get to know the judges as much as I know that they wanted to get to know us. And I was reading each bio for all of the judges and I came across Monica Roberts. 
I was amazed at how much she did within the community and how much she advocated for trans women of colour. One of the things that I admire about Monica Roberts is during the time that we were judging Miss Trans Global in 2020, we've had a conversation since she said that she was judging contestants beyond their physical beauty. She was judging them based upon the work that they do, the changes in their advocacies, and the changes that they want for the community. That truly shows who Monica Robert is, a woman who cares about the future and the people around her and her community. Monica is a hero, an advocate. She's a phenomenal woman and she's my role model. As our judge in Miss Trends Global, she stood as a big sister for us, gave us advices when we needed her the most. She's someone I aspire to become like. Monica Roberts dedicated her life in defending and uplifting Black transgender women. Her power was storytelling, and she used it so fearlessly in battling against oppression and injustice. Because of what she's done, we grieve over her loss. She could have done more. But looking back, she has done more than enough. And that is worth celebrating. As the competition progressed, I saw such a kind, humble and encouraging woman in Monica. She scored us all so highly and gave us words of encouragement along the way. And she really stood out to me um, within the judging panel. And I could see that she was an incredible human. I may have not known Monica for a long time, but I am thankful for the moments that we've shared. People like her, women like her, are the reason why we have what we have now. We have the ability to change, to grow, and be our authentic selves. And that is something that we must remember and forever cherish, and hopefully inspire others to do so. So I am thankful for Monica Roberts. During the grand coronation of Miss Trans Global, afterwards we got to have our Zoom party and the contestants and the judges were invited to attend. So let's go to Judge Monica Roberts. She's here. Hi, Monica. Hi. <laughs> yeah, I'm finally awake now because it's, uh, <laughs> it's uh, shoot, uh, 11.30 Houston time right now, a.m. Houston time. So This was the first time that I got to speak with Monica directly and I remember actually saying to her that I was so happy that she was on the judging panel and how much I appreciated all her kind words of encouragement along the way and how much she stood out to me within the judging panel. It was amazing. Uh, mm -hmm. First of all, you know, just uh, the fact that, you know, pulled it, you know, so you and your team, you know, technical team pulled this off period you know, nice. in the, you know in the middle of a pandemic mm -hmm. you know. I wasn't able to meet her fully I only met her once after I won Miss Trans Global but I was so inspired by her courage and vision that is why I am committing myself to continue her legacy of reclaiming what is right and what is just for transgender women of the world she has made me understand that being an advocate is not just fighting for the rights outside. It's about being a big sister, being a mother to the young people. Also in terms of the quality of the women that were in this competition, you know, it, it made for some very hard, you know, decisions in terms of, you know, who moved on to the top 15 and who yes. moved on to the top 10. Yeah, there mm -hmm. were some there were some long, you know, so there were times where I watched and rewatched videos two, three, yes. four times, mm -hmm. you know, just to make certain, yeah. you know, that the right person, you know, was moving on because, yes. you know, I was looking at this from an activist lens and also, you know, as someone who's done activism for 21 years. Yeah. So, 
you know, that was my focus in terms of, you know, when I was judging folks, okay, how would this person, you know, you know, if, that, if we, you know, say if, if we chose them as our queen, yeah. you know, how would they stack up, you know, meeting with a legislator or with the media, since I'm also in media, you know, how would, how well would they present? And, you know, and the top five, you know, basically knocked it out of the park <laughs> in terms of that. She helped our community. She, for me, is the matriarch of our modern trans activism. And she is a big sister, a mentor, and someone I will always, always adore and always remember. Today she's gone, but she'll forever remain in my heart. Rest in peace, Monica, and know that the Miss Trans Global family will love you and will forever cherish every advice you give to us. It was such a shock to hear the news of Monica. And I remember being so upset and devastated about this news. I know that all the work that Monica has done within our community will carry on and that her legacy will live on for years to come. Monica, thank you for coming before us for paving the way for us. Mabuhay ka. And you've lived a meaningful life. We will continue what you started and we will make you proud. Rest in power, our dearest sister. I'll cherish the few words I got from you and I hope one day I'll touch lives the way you've touched my life. Rest in peace. Monica. So hi, my sister. We are with you and we love you always. accused of killing his wife and a bit of jealousy broke down in court today as we learn more about the victim who is beloved in the LGBTQ community. Local 10 News reporter Ian Margo live down with this crime alert for us tonight. Ian. His wife, Uni Carey, is a well-known trans activist, performer. She was even a queen in the pageant industry and now she is lost and her, now she has been lost and her loved ones are mourning. She has her blood family, she has some brothers, and she has her aunt, and of course her grandmother. And, you know, but she also had her, her chosen family, and we were part of that. Raul Griffith tells us Unieski Herrera was like a sister to him. In the news this week that her husband allegedly murdered her was devastating. We're so close, and, and, and we're part of who she was, and she was part of who I we are. Uni, as she's known, is a well-known trans activist, performer, and pageant queen. And she was found dead in her apartment early on Tuesday morning after her husband, Igor Souza, allegedly called 911 and told them he had stabbed her to death. <laughs> in court on Wednesday, Souza was in tears, apparently having told police meth screwed up his life and that he deserved whatever punishment he got. Now, Uni's loved ones are reeling and hoping the world will remember her not just as a victim, but as the person she was. She always had love for everybody that she met and everybody that she came across with. She was a very special person for many people, but especially for us, her family. So Souza is being held without bond. He will remain in jail for now. It is important to mention right now, it is also Transgender Awareness Week, which ends on the 20th on Friday with the Transgender Day of Remembrance, which is a day to remember all trans people who have been killed by this exact kind of violence. We're live in Miami this evening. I'm Ian Margul, Local 10 News. Such an awful story. Thank you, Ian. How could this happen? How, how? This year has been, the, for me, one of the worst year ever. Losing loved ones, I lost one of the close friends called Cher earlier in the year, and then the Monica. And then not just that, 
the last 24 hours, I lost another close friend, Unikari, who is also a pageant sister and someone I have competed with in, in Thailand. And we were in Spain together last year in December. She was murdered by her husband. He stabbed her in the face 36 times with a fork and a knife. How much can you hit someone? Someone that you claim to love, that you kill her in such a brutal way. Hi everyone, my name is Uni Gary. You're Miss Transstar Cuba, you're Miss Beyond the Crown, and you're forever Miss Cuba International. Today is a very important day for all of us trans women. Today we tell the world that we no longer want to die. Today we tell the world that we deserve love and respect. I have a message. If we teach our kids from an early age to love and respect and accept, when your kids go on into the world to live their lives, they'll know how to love, respect and accept anything that's different from them. Especially when they meet a trans woman like myself, they'll know how to love and respect and accept. With love and respect, we'll have a better world. We'll have a better life. At the end, we're all humans. We have that right. When I found out that Monica, it wasn't murder and it was just of natural causes, I was a bit at peace with her passing because it was of natural causes but uni it's her husband someone that she loved was busy abusing her and then killed her in such a brutal way she's such a beautiful woman you know when you look at her she's absolutely flawless she is perfect and attacking her in such a brutal way attacking her face why would you do that why why? As in, it's just beyond me. It, honestly, it's beyond me. And it brings me back to the pain and the hurt that we're going through today, being the trans of remembrance. Many of our other trans sisters, especially the ones we don't know, who have been brutally, brutally murdered and attacked killed and survivors who are out there today i salute you all and i just want to let you know that we love you those of you who have passed away we want to let you know that you are not forgotten unikari you will live on forever in my heart and in my memory same with Monica Roberts. I love you both so much. And I hope that you keep on watching over us from above. When we were producing this video, less did I know that within the last 24 hours, one of our sister was going to be murdered the same way that all our other trans sisters have been murdered before. And how the same violence that we've been fighting against, the same violence that Monica has been fighting against, another victim will come out and be counted and listed as part of what is going on in our community. And I've always said this, that majority of the people who murder us are the people whom we love, the people who we trust and the people we give our hearts to, they are the ones that murder us. And this is why we have to be extra and extra vigilant and extra careful. When a man says he loves you, does it mean that he has the right frame of mind for you? You need to put yourself first because you are important. You are worth being loved but not the wrong kind of love. You must remain strong and please protect yourself. I came together with my trans sisters from Miss Trans Global. We decided to recite a poem. I wrote this poem for Trans Day of Remembrance for our trans family members who have passed away in 2020. 
And this is the poem. It's titled, A Letter to Trans Heaven. Dear loved ones in heaven. Embora você não esteja mais aqui fisicamente conosco, mas você ainda está aqui em espírito. Though you're not physically here with us anymore, but you're still here in spirit. Você está aqui quando nos apaixonamos e deixamos de amar. You are here when we fall in and out of love. You're here when we fall asleep. Você está aqui quando adormecemos. Você está aqui quando pedimos ajuda. You are here when we need help. You're here when we have flashbacks to happier times with you. Você ainda está aqui quando temos flashbacks de tempos mais felizes com você. You give us strength from your past wisdom and experiences. Remembering your beautiful smile heals the pain of losing you. The pain of rejection. The pain of discrimination. The pain of isolation. The pain of homelessness. Lembrar do seu lindo sorriso cura a nossa dor de te perder. A dor da rejeição. A dor da discriminação. A dor do isolamento. A dor da falta de moradia. A dor do ódio. The pain of rejection. The pain of discrimination. Remembering your beautiful smile heals the pain of losing you. The pain of rejection. The pain of discrimination. The pain of isolation. The pain of homelessness. The pain of hate the pain of transphobia, the pain of COVID-19, the pain of violence, and the pain of murder. A dor transfóbica. A dor de Covid-19. A dor da violência. E a dor do assassinato. Somos informados. Não somos mulheres o suficiente. Nossos irmãos trans não são homens o suficiente. E os nossos irmãos não binários não são humanos o suficiente para ser respeitados. We are told we are not woman enough, that our trans brothers are not man enough, and that our non-binary siblings are not human enough to be respected. É por isso que devemos sobreviver, para que você possa sobreviver através de nós, com suas histórias de vidas incríveis, compartilhar o amor com quem você deixou atrás. Lembrar esse amor que você costumava acalmar nossas mágoas. We are told we are not woman enough. That our trans brothers are not man enough. And our non-binary siblings are not human enough to be respected. That is why we must survive so you can live through us with your incredible life stories shared with the love you left behind. We are told that we are not women enough. Our trans brothers are told that they are not man enough. And our non-binary siblings are told that they are not human enough to be respected. And that is why we must survive so you can live through us with your incredible life stories shared with the love you left behind, remembering that love you used to soothe our heartbreaks knowing that you deserve more and should be here today. Shared with the love you left behind. Remembering that love helps soothe our heartbreak, knowing that you deserve more and should be here today. But we will not let that pain consume us. Saber que você merece mais e deveria estar aqui hoje. Mas nós não vamos deixar a dor consumir. Muitos procuram diminuir a luz que você deixou para trás, 
mas sua luz brilha além das estrelas mais brilhantes do universo. Você permanece uma inspiração para muitos e além. Para alguns, você poderá ter conhecido, mas ter tocado emocionalmente com suas palavras e bondades de representação. Knowing that we deserve more and should be here, but we will not let the pain consume us. Many seek to dim the light they left behind, but your light glows beyond the brightest stars in the universe. You remain an inspiration to many beyond, and for some you may not have met, but have touched emotionally with your words of kindness and representation. Many seek to dim the light you left behind. But your light shines bright beyond the brightest stars of the universe. You remain an inspiration to many and beyond. For some, you may not have met, but have touched emotionally with your words of kindness and representation. You are now immortalized as an icon, an icon for the good fight of visibility and inclusion. Agora você está imortalizado com um ícone. Um ícone para a boa luta da visibilidade e da inclusão. Remembering that love you used to soothe our heartbreaks knowing that you deserve more and should be here today. But we will not let the pain consume us. You remain an inspiration to many and beyond. For some you may not have met, but have touched emotionally with your words of kindness, wisdom, and representation. You are now immortalized as an icon, an icon for the good fight of visibility and inclusion. Obrigada por tudo que você fez por nós. Obrigada pela fundação que construído para nós e obrigado por deixar um legado para nós. Thank you for all you did for us. Thank you for the foundation you built for us. And thank you for the legacy you left for us. Thank you for all you did for us. Thank you for the foundation you built for us. And thank you for leaving a legacy for us. Thank you for all you did for us. Thank you for the foundation you left for us. And thank you for leaving a legacy for us. We are the guardians of your legacy and we will never, ever, ever forget you. We are the guardians of your memory and we shall never, ever, ever forget you. Somos os guardiões da sua memória. Nós nunca, nunca nos esqueceremos. We are the guardian of your memory. We shall never, ever, ever forget you. Com amor, Danielle. My name is Mr. Golden. With love, Rebecca. With love, Lisa Howe.
Yeah.